you can often tell troll news articles, troll news websites, by just how overly convincing they're trying to be. Whereas most credible news sources probably sound like something that's outdated or a little too dorky to be made up by marketers. For instance, New York Daily Intelligencer. Now, if you came across this for the first time, you might not be sure, but you can look that up and find out that it's a very old newspaper. And they have an interesting scoop. Now, I believe I've mentioned those two states as being very likely to be hacked. And I said that Donald Trump would wind up going there towards the end of the election, uh, about a month and a half before it happened. Because, well, people had to be paid or, you know, zip drives or whatever. <sighs> Drop-offs of some sort had to be made. Plus, every time you're going to do something that's bullshit, you have to do something that makes it convincing. Which is the reason why all them fucking talking heads were on TV, talking in circles, aggravating the shit out of everybody. Just to put fear into you now, once they stole the election. Those people weren't there to convince anybody. Nobody would be convinced by those fucking talking heads on CNN that supported Donald Trump, supposedly. That's, that's supporting a candidate? That's, that's what you call that? I just call it driving people crazy on purpose. That's all they were doing. And it was to make people feel despair. It was make, to make people feel like the opposition had this overwhelming sense of confidence. But they don't. Because their emperor has no clothes. In more ways than one. A group of scientists is urging the Clinton campaign to challenge election results in three swing states. That's Wisconsin, Michigan, and guess what? Pennsylvania. It's like Transylvania, only without the vampires and the trannies. Well, probably a few of each, but anyways. Um, so, this... Uh, little independent society of computer scientists, basically, has come to this newspaper, who then in turn came went to the Clinton campaign, and they had a group phone call with Podesta, and they are looking into getting lawyers and stuff into these areas in these states, and, um, well, the findings are pretty obvious. And it's consistent with every prediction you can find on YouTube of how hacking results would pan out. They believe they've found persuasive evidence. Okay, there we go. Back. Couldn't tell where I was pointing the freaking camera because the little thing's in the corner. Um, so... They believe they've found persuasive evidence that the results in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania may have been manipulated or hacked. The group is so far not speaking on the record, but their findings show that in Wisconsin, Clinton received 7% fewer votes in counties that relied on electronic voting machines compared with those that used optical scanners and paper ballots. Pause it right quick and I'll let you hear from the uh, news guys that reported this on MSNBC. Alex, what did 
did you find? What do you think is going on? Well, what we know, the reportable fact is that on Thursday, there was a conference call between John Podesta, Mark Elias, and these computer scientists and lawyers who are trying to persuade the remnants of the Clinton campaign to call for a recount in the state of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. They made their case to Podesta in a conference call. There have been subsequent conversations. What we know is they are trying to get the Clinton people there. My reporting indicates the Clinton folks aren't quite there to actually call for this recount, but it's alive. This is an active discussion taking place in Clinton, sir. What does it mean? Well, there you have it, folks. That is the update that's available right now. Um, so, director of the University of Michigan Center for Computer, Computer Security and Society believes that they found this evidence. Oh, okay. <sighs> Very interesting. And, of course, increased risk. They want to keep you all fearful, don't they? They want to keep you all in check. In lock, goose, step. Ha, <laughs> ha. 